So currently, all the bars and restaurants in the UK have to close at 10 o'clock. It doesn't look like it's working out because everybody's spilling out onto the streets at 10 o'clock to go home. Or in worst cases, they are taking the mick and they're gathering right in the centre of the city just to revel and party and look like they're clearly flouting the rules. Don't do it. You're just going to drag this thing out even longer, for goodness sake. But right now, we need to stick to the rules. If they're closing at 10 o'clock, it's one thing to go outside and you're accidentally crossing paths with somebody trying to get home. It is a complete whole other thing to rebelliously gather in throngs of people out on the street as if you're sticking two fingers up to the government and to COVID. We all want to stick two fingers up to COVID, at least. But if the numbers keep going up, the government are going to make things even worse for all of us. So hard as it is, let's just do this now in order to have a better time later. Okay, enough said, I'm not your mother. Unless of course you're one of my sons watching this, then yes, I am your mother. <laughs> Ooh, we have a socially distant siege on neighbours. <laughs> Exciting. And we have the last few scenes with actor Tim Robards playing Pierce Grayson. So we're about to replace him because he sadly lost his job due to the pandemic in Australia. And he's taken them hostage with a stun gun. <laughs> Sir David Attenborough has just joined Instagram and he's beaten Jennifer Aniston's record for gaining 1 million followers the fastest. I just think that's so cool that this 94 year old naturalist has just completely blown the record for getting a million followers on Instagram. But yeah, most of the people that I follow and who follow me are all following Sir David Attenborough, so he must be pretty cool, right? He's one of those guys that just knows things. He can talk to you about any animal, and he knows everything about that animal. From crocodiles to birds to monkeys to strange amphibians that none of us have ever heard of. Sir David Attenborough is your man. I mean, he's just an incredible veteran man who's just given his life to discovering about animals and wildlife, and that's just fantastic. My early sunshine. Sir David can probably explain why and how my bird can talk and sing at me. A talking bird? Think about it. Try. Yeah, that's your name. Don't wear it out. Shh. I haven't said anything. La 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 la. Anything you can do. I can do that one as well, Charlie. Are you a baritone, Charlie? My car broke down. Oh my God. So I'm currently waiting for Green Flag to come and get me. And it's almost a year to the day since I last broke down. <laughs> so I'm just on my way home. I did have the engine management light come on earlier, but the car still seemed to go, although it felt like it was losing power. Um, and then I thought, I'll just get home. I spoke to my mechanic, he said he'd look at it tonight. But bam, I'll break down before I can even get home. You were cross many waters to hear. Apparently he's about five minutes out to come and get me this mechanic. Basically, the uh, mechanic is gone and he's now sent a pickup truck, but I've still got about another half an hour to wait. I can get the work done under warranty potentially, but when? I've got such a busy week of calls. Oh, it's a nightmare. 
when needs must and you need a wee, I just literally climbed through a gap down there to go for a wee. I've been here for two hours now. Okay, finally. Oh, my poor car. Absolutely gutted. Right, so the car is home, safe, but it just doesn't work. Great. So I am going to try and get the Yaris on the road. It's been sitting there for the best part of six months all through lockdown. So I don't think I've got much choice now because I don't know when I'm going to get the work done on the Qashqai. It is such a drag when your car breaks down. It's just so inconvenient. Go ahead. 